Hey guys, Merlin and I are going to talk to you today about how to build trust. I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Blues Bond. I have over 22 species of parrots. This is Merlin. He is a blue-headed macaw. And off we go. All right, building trust is an important thing. It is going to help you have that blissful bond. I had someone who said that they are going to be, I think, taking care of a Hans macaw for a little while while the owners are away or something like that. So they were asking about building trust. Building trust is in some ways more obvious than you think. Um, trust really goes both ways. And I think that's a really important point because just as much as the parrot that you are dealing with, like that, you know, maybe that you've just adopted or something like that, just as much as they're like, you are a big monster. I don't know how I feel about you. Um, I tend to feel the same way about them. You might be a little parrotlet, but you have a powerful beak and you can cut my skin. Or on a bigger bird, not that this is a huge macaw, this is actually one of the mini macaws, but on a bird like this, that beak can still do damage. So a part of building trust, one thing I want you to remember is that it goes both ways. That means that the key to building trust is really starting by making sure that you have some really good experiences, um, make that good first impression with the bird. That means I would do things like really talk to them, sweet talk them. Um, it's not that they're going to understand if you say, you're such a beautiful bird, but they understand the intonation. They understand the meaning in your words. They understand the energy. They, you know, they get um, the difference between, oh my God, you're such a beautiful blue and green macaw versus something like uh, when you're angry or um, insulting them or something like that. They, they get that difference. When you can start by doing things like giving them treats, um, and the treats don't have to be a seed. Oh my, oh, wow. When you give them understanding, when you give them, maybe it's a piece of carrot, Maybe it is, what else? What would be a good healthy treat for you? Um, a little piece of papaya, something like that. And it can certainly be, in the case of a bird like a macaw, a little piece of a walnut or another nut. Then they are going to start to create a positive association with you. Did you see how Merlin was leaning against me and he's basically trying to get away from me? And I let him. So that tells him that I am not going to force him to do what I want him to do. I'm going to let him be his own person. And he's like, I want to explore your hammock. And I'm like, please don't eat it. But, you know, here we go. And, of course, if he eats it, I'm going to be understanding. Because that is, in fact, what parrots do. I hear bliss, too. All right. Bliss is my Timna. I will show you my Timna in a minute. She's right behind. So... Make sure that you are doing things that allows you and the parrot that you are working with to get comfortable and to really have good experiences. You want the parrot to come up, cuddle with you, that kind of thing, and you don't get to control that. They want you to do things and they don't get to control what you do. But if you focus on some of, um, some of the coddling, some of the sweet talking, that kind of thing, then you're going to let you and your bird have a fabulous experience. Right, Bliss? Hello? Do you want to say hello? Hi, Bliss. Hi. How are you? Oh, did you see that? Yeah, there he goes. Oh, you want pets. And when they do things like ask for pets, make sure you give them. Now, if your parrot is more shy and is being less friendly to start, then make sure to spend a lot of time hanging out with them, having them close by. Like right now, Bliss was just hanging out with me. In the mornings, Bliss loves to just hang out. A lot of the times I'm meditating and <laughs> my meditations have a, often have a hello and what are you doing? But um, she just likes to be with us and around us. And so just having companionship is really important and that'll help you build some of that trust. Right, sweetie? So I hope that gives you an idea about the importance of mutual trust and a couple ideas on how to really start that 
uh, that positive exchange with them so that you create a really good first impression and so that you can create a really good trusting and hopefully bonding situation with them. Thanks for joining me guys. If you are looking for a bird, I have two left, one white-bellied kaik and um, Merlin, my blue-headed macaw, uh, eeks, and actually some conures and parrotlets. All right, guys, and hopefully soon we'll have linnies. Um, I will catch you in the next feathered video. If you want to check out the birds or contact me, please visit parrotbliss.com forward slash available parrots. And we will see you in the next blissful video.